How did practice go today, coach? Went good. You guys responded well. They did. Oh. Thanks just to play. Morale a little bit down after the tough loss? No, they're, I think more determined and resolved. I mean, I think the time to be down was the plane ride home and yesterday. Now it's right back to work. How's Riley's uh, health? He's hurt. I mean, hopefully he'll be back by the game, but he got pounded in that game, took a lot of shots, and so he didn't practice today. Hopefully he'll be back by Saturday. A different injury than the back injury? Yeah, um, kind of a, man, I don't even know how to describe, describe it, kind of where the rib and the cartilage meet, et cetera, really painful. Is it so, similar to his injury uh, that took him out last year with the lung thing in addition to it? Not sure. I don't know enough about the injury other than and that he finished the game after watching it. It's pretty impressive. And what about Cody Hoffman? Uh, I think he'll be fine from what I've been told. Practice today, though? Uh, you know, I don't know. Didn't pay attention. What about Riker Matthews? I, remember I think he'll be okay, too. You touched on it after the game, but having those two guys, having Riley and, uh, and Cody out there playing when they're dinged up and getting banged up like that, what does that do for a team when you have guys back they out? Just, the team respects them, and they gave us a great chance. Um, to, to win the game. Cody came in after the long drive and recovered the onside kick. And Riley just scrambled all over the place and threw it to David Foote and we got close. Um, just didn't protect well enough to, to win it. What are you going to miss most about Brandon Ogletree's attitude? He's that guy. There's only one speed to him and that's whatever 10 is, it's a little bit past 10. He's just full go all the time. And he's kind of Kind of mad at you most of the time too, which is good. When you uh, when you have a, a, a season where the losses pile up a little bit, the quarterback tends to get a lot of blame. Does sure. he get too much blame? Oh uh, no, no question. I mean, the guy is he does everything he possibly can to help our team. But offensive execution is protection. It's route running. It's protection by the running backs. It's check down routes, etc. So yeah, he's most visible. And he's handling that really well, but um, one or two plays it seems like in a bunch of games, but also in every game right to the very, very end, and that's Riley's given us a chance to do that. Can you put a percentage on the chances that he'll play Saturday? I don't know enough about it yet, Jay. Um, I'll probably know more and more as the week goes, but yeah, for, for him to be out today is pretty significant because the guy doesn't miss many. When you're so close to winning a lot of these games, is it tougher to make big changes and, or, you know, instead of, or is it just tweaks in these type of situations? Oh, I, I think to a point, but intuitively and as the leader, as you keep watching, hopefully objectively as possible, as possible, you know, whether they're minor tweaks or whether they have to be significant. And that's hard to notice that really during the year as much. Um, uh, bye week's easy to kind of step back. Other times, maybe after a couple in a row, you might be able to step back. but. It's hard to say. Uh, each leader has to kind of pick and choose what he sees during uh, the season to do the best he can. ESPN reported tonight that BYU, Boise State, and San Diego State are talking to the Mountain West again about rejoining. Have you heard that at all? That Brett just told me on the phone that that was reported, and so that was the first time I heard of it. I don't know anything about it. Um, so yeah, I don't. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. Would you be shocked by that? There's nothing I'd be shocked by um, with realignment, etc. I I don't know what to think. You know, I'm just trying to get our team ready to play. How do you feel about the new playoff system as an independent, with in terms of access you may or may not have when you set up? It's about the same access we had before, um, the way I see it. So we'll still have to be undefeated, I think, to be considered. With the holiday this week, will you change your practice? Yeah, we're just going to practice early on Wednesday, Thursday. We're practicing early on Thanksgiving. We'll be done by noon. Well, that's right. playing football Thursday. Good. From the coaching Maybe we'll scrimmage. Yeah, I'm sure the players would like that. <laughs> and you? I'd like it too. <laughs> Cody's about to 1,000 yards receiving. Just thoughts on, on the game. He's, he's gaining momentum. The last couple of games, he's, I think, um, regrouped isn't the right word, but um, he's emerging. Maybe a little bit beyond where he finished last year. It took him a while in the midseason, but I, I like the way he's played the last couple of games. Have you done much looking at New Mexico State? Yeah. Thoughts on that? Um, talented, but they turn the ball over a lot. Um, they, they've been struggling to stop the run defensively. Offensively, they have a lot of good athletes, um, but struggle with turnovers and consistency.
How close were you guys as a staff, if at all, or you personally, to turning to James Locke at any point this season? Not, not really close. Um, not because of lack of trust. Uh, I tried to explain why Taysom Hill was the backup in terms of continuity of system with Riley. Um, during the last game, a couple of times, it was maybe a breath or two away from putting James in. And he'll, he'll play and he'll start this week if Riley can't play for any reason. From a coaching perspective, how different is it being independent than when you were back in the Mountain West playing for conference championships? Like you that? know, that, that part isn't as, in, as, dif, as different in terms of playing for conference championships as just preparing for a lot of new and different opponents. And so not much history. Um, San Jose last week, we had film from a year ago as we did in New Mexico State, so that helps a little bit. But um, some of the teams that we're playing for the first time, that's that's been good and kind of refreshing. After Oregon State, you sensed a little bit of overconfidence. Did you sense any of the same thing before, during, after San Jose State? Not, not necessarily. Um, there, and I don't really think it had anything to do with uh, the beginning. They they made a couple nice downfield throws and. They made them all early, and then it just kind of went to business as usual. So they had a nice plan to try to get a lead. Um, but after that, our guys adjusted well. And so uh, that's the way I saw it. Dwayne Walker's coming back to BYU after coaching here. You've been in that situation when you've coached against mentors and coached you know, with people you worked with before. What is that like, you know, just being in that coaching fraternity and when you have those type of experiences? Mm, he and I were here at different times, and we talked about it a little bit last year. and so. Um, yeah, you have a chance to share, kind of, especially when a series is getting ready to end, you can be a little bit more open after the game and the relationships build, so that'll probably be different after the game than before. You've coached games in Las Cruces before. Yeah. And what, were the, what was the kind of atmosphere D like that? Different, different when I was at UNM because that was more like um, BYU, Utah State, Utah State, Utah, more interstate kind of uh, packed house, bragging rights, kind of fierce environment. Um, I'm sure this will be different. All right. Okay. Thanks. Do you have, do you have a personal opinion on Twitter use, particularly with your with your athletes? I don't know how to use it, and I'm sure they do, but I don't see any value to it. Do you it. think it's been good or bad for the sport in general? I don't know enough about it to even tell you, to be honest with you. These guys will probably tell you.